Welcome Virgo to the channel for your November mid-month reading. My name is Robin and this is Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks for tuning in. So guys, I'm going to do um, a little shuffle here of the Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition deck to do this reading. And um, I pulled a tarot card spread from the internet and it's called What the H. So this spread is really designed to look at any sticking points in your life, any, and I'm getting the word calamity for some of you, any sources of just general, like, crap, you know, what's the garbage in your life right now? And let's have a look at that. And um, so it's going to be five cards to sort of dig into that. So I hope you enjoy it. And let me know what you think down below in the comments, guys. Um, and yeah, do remember to like, share and subscribe because it does help me so much on the channel. So thanks a lot, guys. Just going to shuffle a couple more times and then I'm going to do a deck cut and we'll get into your reading. So the first card is, um, it's called the crappy situation. So we'll have a look at that card right away here. Hold on. Okay. So the moon card, I mean, when this comes up in this this kind of a read here, the crappy situation. The moon card is like, you know, when you, you wake up in the middle of the night and you're just thinking of everything that's not going right and, um, you know, maybe not sleeping properly and things are really bothering you, you know? Um, and sometimes you can really feel like it's intuition in the middle of the night, but it could just be, you know, unsettled thoughts because I find it's anxious thinking that that comes in in the middle of the night so if you really want some clarity um, you might want to just stay awake and write out some notes I saw like Wayne Dwyer talked about um, staying awake like especially if you keep on waking up at the same time every night it's like the angels have a message for you but in the meantime, it could be just disturbing your sleep so much and then you're not feeling 100% and during the daytime, you know, so it can be really cyclical. And, you know, even if you're not waking all the way up, you know, you could just be having anxious thoughts. You're not really getting into a deep sleep here. So that's what I'm seeing with the moon card. So the second card, what can you do about it? So the king of wands. The King of Wands, he's a real idea guy. So I'm feeling that there's things that you're not exactly looking at straight on. You could be putting things off because you don't want to think about it. So what you can do is really just pay attention to these thoughts. And if you're having repetitive thoughts during the daytime, you guys, it doesn't mean they're, they're not gonna go away just because you're sleeping. That's when, you know, your, your mind really never goes to sleep. So you might wanna start looking at ways to resolve problems because the human brain, it keeps on searching for a resolution until it's found, you know, whether you're awake or not. So you, that could be keeping you in a really surface sleep, tossing and turning, or just waking up like, oh, can't believe like I'm still thinking about this you know what I mean so really looking at ways to resolve a problem you know and again like journaling and writing things down um, what you can't do about it with the six of wands so the six of wands it really talks about winning here so there's just you cannot force this into a submission you know you can't bury things because look what happens to people when they bury situations. It comes out in other ways. So definitely a lack of sleep or extensive thinking, you know, and I'm, I am seeing that happening during the nighttime because it's possible you're just not dealing with it and there's a lot going on, you know, in, in your lives. So maybe you just don't want to or you just don't have the ability to, you know, and there's things that you might not even have the opportunity to resolve where you are right now. You know, what if you live somewhere, you know, you, you don't like your roommate or, you know, it's too cold for you or your job or whatever and things that you're kind of stuck in. 
but if you can't resolve it, you're going to have to find a way to live in harmony with things and really just looking at ways to accept the situation. And that, you know, some of the things that, that come up in the readings in order to resolve and move on, it's easier said than done. Like, and I totally get that, right? But um, so sometimes it's best to kind of look for the lesson behind the situation and that's actually going to be the next card. So what's the lesson? So the seven of coins. So regardless of how you feel about your crappy situation, like whatever is giving you sleepless nights or like anxious thinking or whatever like that, it's, it's actually, this is your lesson. This is your lesson. This, like how you approach it is going to like plant the seeds for your future. Like with the seven of coins, like how you sort of manage situations, like I think this was a Johnny Depp quote, like the problem isn't the problem, how you think about the problem is the problem or something very similar to that. And there's so much truth to that. You know, here's a really good example, like when you're driving and somebody cuts you off, like how do you handle that? Do you like flip out and you know, the typical road rage and swearing and like, you know, how you see some people, they're like, you know, and like, what is that anyway? So, or if you just go, okay, well, whatever, I guess they're in a hurry. Like that's two different ways of looking at the same situation. So there's always a different way of looking at the situation and the way that you think, you know, it's probably just going to keep on evolving over your lifetime, but this is your opportunity to sort of step back and detach yourself if possible um, from whatever is bothering you deep down. And it could be something like an ancient pain that you haven't resolved and it could be something current. So you really, you're gonna have to do a deep dive there, you guys. Um, so the fifth card, how will this crappy situation turn out? So we have the queen of wands. So for some of you, you're just going to be able to, um, resolve and move on the queen of wands like she really just basically likes to attack life but she does let things build up you know and she does have a tendency not to discuss things so like i'm just seeing that for some of you i think you're gonna just try to keep the status quo and like there's some really painful memories out there for everybody you know and it could be hard to to look at things but like don't bury it for too long you guys because i'm seeing here like this attack mode i mean it's it's good for short term you know but long term it just you could end up you know not super happy in the future so so let's have a look at that movie if you've ever seen that movie sliding doors um you know this is such a good example of how if you go one way, your life will end up like one way. And if you go the other, then your life can end up a different way. So I'm seeing that this is a really pivotal moment with the Queen of Wands to really resolve and go deeper into yourself and find that sort of um, Zen Buddhist monk that lives within you. Let me just pull one more card on that. So we have the Three of Swords. So you guys do have some pain to deal with, you know? And whatever your pain is, I, it's it's unfortunate that so many people are really like, like walking wounded, right? And just carrying things and some people more than others. So the Queen of Wands really wants to stay busy and not really focus, but just know you guys that <clears throat> until something is dealt with, it's, it's gonna like, it's not gonna unpack itself. So I'm really seeing a need here for to to face that like if it's a person go talk to that person if it's some you know deep dark secret that you feel horrible about forgive yourself or forgive somebody else or whatever um perfect opportunity here for you guys to like dump off some baggage that you've been carrying around or current baggage maybe you need a new roommate maybe you need a new job maybe you need a new car you know but really take the time to and this is winter like where I am anyway so it's the perfect time to start planting the seeds for the future you know like nothing blooms all year so this could be your your regrowth cycle coming in for you I've got a bad lighting situation here so 
but do you do you know what I mean? You know, and and you can see when people are really affected by pain and anger because they just the way that they carry themselves and they're just ready to like snap right away, you know? So this is like, this is the plant the seed for your rebirth here, guys. Really cool read for you. Hope you think so too. See you another time. Bye.